Here are the top five reasons why you should not own a Jeep. Now, I'm not going to lie. Some of these are going to be extremely difficult to hear. But frankly, I think that the truth needs to be told. And some of you really need to hear this. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive right in, shall we? Welcome back to Jeeping for Beginners, folks. Once again, my name is Josh, and today we are discussing the top five reasons why perhaps maybe you should not own a Jeep-branded vehicle. Now, like I said at the beginning, some of you might get a little butthurt on this video, but the truth needs to be spoken. So without any further ado, let's dive right in, starting with number five. So starting right off, or number five, for the reasons why you should probably not own a Jeep branded vehicle is if you consider yourself to be a social media troll. Now, here's what I mean by that. If you make it a habit to hop onto Facebook or Twitter or Reddit or Instagram and consistently bash the lifestyle and tear down people for their little accomplishments or their big accomplishments because you don't see the point in it, please God, do not buy in to the Jeep lifestyle. All right, guys. So number four on the list of reasons why you should probably not own a Jeep branded product. And that is if you are of the firm belief that the foreign made vehicles, especially the Japanese ones, are better quality. Yes, I am talking directly to the Toyota owners that tend to bash a lot of us Jeep owners on social media. There's two problems with your line of reasoning. First of all, although Jeep has always been known as an American vehicle, the company is owned by Fiat, which is a foreign company. So foreign vehicles are better. I guess that puts Jeep in that category. Second of all, as somebody who has run automotive repair shops for the last 25 years or so, I can tell you that I see just as many, if not more, of the foreign vehicles like Toyotas, Hondas, and Nissans come through the shop with just as many problems as I do the American vehicles. The truth of the matter is, is it's all in how you treat it, how you maintain it, and how much you appreciate it. So there really isn't a ground to stand on claiming that foreign is better than American. But if that's truly how you feel, which is kind of anti-American, then that's perfectly okay. But that also means you should probably not own a Jeep branded vehicle. So that's a nice segue into our reason number three as to why you should not own a Jeep branded vehicle. And that is if you're basically anti-American or against freedom. You see, Jeep itself has always been a symbol for the American pride and the American freedom that we enjoy in this country. In fact, if it wasn't for Jeep, we probably would have struggled to win the Second World War, which is the birthplace of the most iconic vehicle that is on the American roads today. So if you're anti-American or a Biden supporter or somebody who just really doesn't give a shit about the freedom in this country, then yeah, you probably should not own a Jeep branded vehicle. <laughs> and now for reason number two as to why you should probably not own a Jeep branded vehicle. And that is if you consider yourself to be an introverted individual who does not like to get out of the daily routine or who does not want to experience adventure or nature. I mean, that's one of the biggest reasons why we own a Jeep, right? To be able to get out and see the mountains, see the desert, get to that lake that is difficult to get to, see those uh, abandoned ghost towns, or to just simply enjoy the thrill of driving down the road. Of course, if none of that interests you, then there really isn't a reason to buy a Jeep, right? All right, guys. So this brings us down to the number one reason why you should not own a Jeep branded product. Inherently, if you consider yourself to be a total jackass or a douchebag, please 
for the love of God, do not own a Jeep branded product. Now, here is what I mean by that. And I am going to qualify this. Okay. Jeep itself is part of a very large community. Those of us that own them look forward to meeting other people who own them. We talk about our Jeeps. We enjoy our Jeeps. We build our Jeeps. We play with them. We use them. And we love bumping into somebody at Walmart who also enjoys the same lifestyle because we know they do. They own a Jeep. So if I park in a parking lot over at Petco and I see that you've got a Jeep Wrangler and I walk up and I say, hey man, nice Jeep. And it turns out you're a douchebag and you don't want to talk about it then believe me, there's no business for you owning it to begin with. We are a huge community. We support one another. We talk to one another. We enjoy each other's company and we want you to be a part of that. So if that's not something that you can do, then, you know, perhaps maybe you should drive a Toyota. So there you have it, folks. The top five reasons why you probably should not own a Jeep branded product. Now, as I'm sure some of you have been able to figure out, this video was not meant to be overly serious or directly pointed at any particular individual. And honestly, if anybody took offense to any of it, I do sincerely apologize. That was not my intention. In fact, I kind of meant it to kind of bring to light some of the issues that the Jeep community is having. And since this is in fact a social media platform in and of itself there is a comment section down below this video why don't you tell me how you feel about those who um we would consider posers in the jeep world or people who are constantly bashing us because we choose to drive this vehicle a couple of things that i do want to note <clears throat> My Jeep is a 2016. She's got over 130,000 miles on it. I have never had a major mechanical failure other than the rear end letting go last year, which I'm pretty sure is pretty much my fault because I am running 37 inch tires and it's got 130,000 miles on it. It was probably due anyway, and I ignored the symptoms of it ready to go. But I've stayed on top of the regular maintenance, just like you would with a Honda or a Toyota or even a Chevy or a Ford, you stay on top of your oil changes, your fluid exchanges, you get it tuned up from time to time. Hell, give it a bath. You know, believe it or not, the vehicles actually really appreciate um, a car wash from time to time. Any vehicle will last you. It doesn't matter really what it is that you're driving. But if you are considering buying a Jeep branded product, then one thing I do want to point out, and it's something I hope was translated throughout this entire video. This is not just a vehicle. It's not just something that you go out and drop 30, 40, 50, $70,000 on and then drive it to work every day. This is a lifestyle. And this is part of a community where we take care of each other. We talk about what we have. Yes, we're going to have issues and we're going to have problems just like every other manufacturer that's out there. If there was just as much of a community surrounding, let's say the Nissan Versa, you would see just as many people complain about the fact that you can't make it past 80,000 miles before the transmission blows up. Or if there's just as much of a community that is built around the Ford branded products, then you would be fully aware that Ford just issued yet another recall for 555 thousand Ford F-150s because of a computer glitch that's forcing the transmission to randomly shift down into first gear on the highway, lock up the rear end, and force the truck to spin out of control. It's even cost a few deaths. Yes, every manufacturer is going to have issues. Now, the truth about Jeep is most of those issues we cause ourselves. If you never modified it, if you never touched it, if you never changed it, you probably wouldn't, we probably wouldn't have nearly as many issues, but that's the beauty of owning a Jeep is it's a blank slate. You can actually take the vehicle and customize it a million different ways to express your own personality. So for those of you who are interested in looking at a Jeep branded product, then just remember that Jeep itself is a symbol of 
freedom. It's a symbol of the American pride. It's a symbol of adventure. And it's what the vehicle was designed for. Problems and all. Anyways, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end of this video, folks. Once again, my name is Josh. This is Jeeping for Beginners. I sincerely look forward to the comments down below this video of whether or not you agree or disagree with any or everything that I said in this video. In the meantime, folks, please stay safe, happy Jeeping, and we will see you next time.